All right, guys, so I'm stuck in traffic jam. Um, there we're through. <laughs> Major traffic jam. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, um, it's a new day. It's Sunday, and tomorrow I start my new job. And I'm on my way to Walmart right now. I gotta get some ink because the computer or the printer ink is running low, and I gotta print off a ton of documents. I'm not just talking a couple, I gotta print off like like you're like 50 pages worth of stuff to bring tomorrow i have orientation and it's just to bring all these forms and uh i'm gonna fill out all these forms i guess for uh whatever i have to do all kinds of different things so yeah that's what i'm doing right now i'm hoping walmart's got it and if not then i have to go to probably staples which is like a half an hour drive so but either way regardless i gotta get it done so i can print that stuff off so let's Let's cross our fingers and uh, hope that uh, Walmart's got it. In my car this morning, it smelled like someone smoked in here. Like, I don't smoke. No one has ever smoked in here. It's weird. I don't know what's... I can't smell now. I have my window open to air it out a bit, but maybe... I'm going to wipe things down and, uh, with the Armor All uh, wipes that I got here. Armor All wipes, yeah. And uh, hopefully... I don't know what that smell was. It's gross. I hate it. So anyways, I'm on my way to Walmart, guys. Get back at you in a minute. Bye. All right, guys. So Walmart, unfortunately, was sold out with black and white ink. So now I'm on my way to Staples to get the black and white ink that I need and another color cartridge. So we're going to do that up on my way. And it is just started to pour. Look at that. Oh, it sucks. What can you do, though? So, yeah, I'm on my way to get that. Unfortunately, couldn't get it at Walmart, so it's a half hour extra drive. But... And after that, I might be buying an iPhone 5S, what, what? But uh, I gotta do some wheel and deal with Rogers, my cell phone provider, because I need to add the uh, some sort of America plan. And what I've been researching, it's ridiculously expensive, but all they list on their website is travel pack. So I'm hoping that I can work a deal with them and because I'm gonna be working in the States indefinitely, hopefully for a very long time. So I need something where it's not, like these travel packs, you have to, have to add them every month. I need something that's just going to be there, like a normal, uh, normal phone plan. So I'm hoping I can be like, hey, I'm buying a $330 phone from you guys right now, and I'm signing another two-year agreement because my contract's done, so I basically could leave at any moment. So I'm willing to sign two more year, uh, a two-more-year uh, contract with you guys, paying you whatever my new plan works out to because I have to modify it for the American stuff, which I understand I'm going to have to pay more money, but I'm not paying the $300 that... Uh, the travel pack that gets you one gig of data and 2,000 text messages a month is because that's absurd. Um, so I could be giving them, uh, say my plan goes from 60 to $100, maybe I'll be giving them an extra $2,400 over those two years. So hey, I'm basically giving them an extra 2,600 bucks. So, or actually, my math is terrible, like 2730. So, um, Hopefully they can work a deal out. I don't know. I'm going to call them and it's going to be like one of those phone battles. I'm sure you guys all know that if you've ever dealt with your cell phone providers, they uh, they last forever on the phone. By the end, your your ears all sweaty and all oh, it sucks. So anyways, <laughs> anyways, guys, I'm on my way to Staples and then I'll let you know what happens with the iPhone 5S and I'm going to be uploading my vlog shortly. I got to get back and edit that. Um, sucks i haven't done any uploads in two days but it's gonna just be i'm gonna try to split it up it's one massive like compilation of footage for two days and i kind of did like two separate cool things each day so like i'm gonna split it up and just upload i think two back to back if not i might just combine them i haven't really sat down and edited so anyways stay tuned guys stay tuned all right guys so well i just got back um i was gone for a long time it was like 11:30 when I did the last vlog and now it's five o'clock mind you I've been home for about an hour, but still I was gone forever and I got the ink But good news is I printed off everything and the uh, cartridge that was in there even though I was reading extremely low I managed to print everything off without having to put in the new ink so I think I'm just gonna go and return that because it Cost me $65 for two cartridges of ink. So if I don't need them well, I didn't need them. I'm going to return them. But, I did mention I might be buying an iPhone. And, well, let's just say I did buy the iPhone. And it's right here in this box. Oh, iPhone 5S. So, 
I have opened it because they had to open it at the deal or at the dealership. It's like I bought a car at uh, Best Buy where I bought it, and they make sure it works. Put the SIM card in, blah blah blah. So, but what I'm gonna do is kind of do like a little unboxing, and I also got a screen protector put on at this place called Ghost Armor. So, but I'm gonna do a little unboxing with you guys right now, so you can kind of, if you don't know, you can see what uh, what it's all about when you get a a 5S and what comes in the box. And I have a old four box here. I'll do a little side by side comparison. I don't know, just that'd be cool and interesting. So, hold on one minute, and uh, not even a minute. <laughs> Hold on like one second so I can push pause and then record again and then you'll see the unboxing. So hold on guys. Alright guys, so here we go with a little bit of an unboxing video for you of the iPhone 5S which is in this box that I just picked up today. And this box here is just the iPhone 4 box and as you can see they are not very similar in shape and size. The iPhone four box is taller and it is also stubbier it's hard to see here on this angle but uh, if you look here you can see that it definitely is shorter but it doesn't really matter the box is pretty much the same like you get whatever so Harley get out of the camera cats in the way so, anyways, without let's without wasting any time, here we go. 5S. So you get the box. Looks like all the other Apple products that have come, and then you get the beautiful 5S. So, like I said, I already opened this. Blah blah blah. It's got the Ghost Armor screen protector on the front and the back, and it looks pretty sweet. I had the 4S before, so this is a pretty cool difference, and it feels like. To be honest, you know what, it feels like a little toy, it like, feels so light and thin and fragile, but I don't know, we'll see how it lasts, and I, I actually bought a product replacement plan, so if it does, anything goes wrong except for a broken screen or water damage, I get it replaced, so that's a nice little feature, and it was rather expensive at Best Buy, $10 a month, but hopefully uh, I can take advantage of that and actually need to use it. So, when you get the box open, it looks like this after you take the phone out, not a big surprise to anybody. Looks like a normal iPhone box. And then you get this little paper uh, envelope-y thing here. And inside you get the little paper clip-like thing to pop open your uh, SIM card. And this seems to be all in J Japanese and Chinese. And some Apple stickers. That's funny. There's no... Can you see that? Like... It's all, I don't know what the, any of it says. This is lightning. That's really funny. <laughs> and some Apple stickers. So that's what comes in that little envelope thingy. And then in the box you get a cable with the new type of connector, which sucks because that's the only one I now own. And everything else I have now is obsolete unless I buy the adapter for the two. And anyways, so I get the plug for the wall and these cool looking headphones. I haven't tried them out yet, but uh, I will give them a shot and I'll let you guys know how they sound in another vlog. And uh, yeah, it comes in a little cool plastic carrying case. Cool, it says app on the back. I love their stuff, it's quality, it's just, it's always so cool. And the box, the packaging, they do a good job. It's really nice and solid. So that's it guys, it's just simple box unboxing. There's not much to them. And uh, I got some Japanese and Chinese writing on, uh, at least that's what I think it is, on my, in my phone's little box. I don't know where my phone came from, but, so, yeah, that's the, the box, and here's the phone. Look at that, baby, it works. She's all shiny. LTE, too, which is nice. I never had that before. I haven't set up my passwords, or I missed call. I shouldn't show any phone numbers. And, um... Yeah, it's nice, bigger screen. I should have, I should have compared it next to my other phone. One sec, I'll go grab my phone. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So here's just a quick little visual comparison. I'll talk about some of the the physical attributes that compare the two. But here you have a 4S. This is the new 5S over here. So as you can see, just from it laying on the table, that it also it looks thinner and 
the new ones a lot longer. And let's see here if I can compare to you guys. You can definitely tell that um, the 5S is a lot thinner. And weight, just the weight difference alone, like this is considerably lighter than the uh, 4S was. And if you look at them straight on, I should uh, let me adjust this for you for a sec. Looking at the phone straight on, they uh, definitely you can see the height difference. And uh, yeah, the camera placement is on the 5S is let me tilt this so you can see is right above my thumb. That thing that's kind of shining there above the uh, speaker for your ear. And the placement was here. Actually, I think that's, yeah, that's the camera above. So right there you can see the camera and a little bit of air bubbles from the screen protector. And then in the place, this is where the, on the 4S, the camera lens is here. And above is the uh, light sensor for when you put it to your ear. It shuts the, the screen off and such. And on the 5S, you can't tell because this is black, but it's right here by where my thumb is tapping. They kind of swap locations between the two, and it has actually a circle, a small circle now, not this like rectangular shape like thing. And uh, I wish I could show you the screen for this one, but uh, it's dead. <laughs> so, but you can just tell the screen is a lot bigger. Well, I think, uh, what's this one? Four inches and three and a half inches, so. It does have some size. Um, looking at the bottom, as I, you can see here, as I said earlier, it's got the new adapter, so you lose uh, anything else that you previously had unless you buy an adapter. The speakers are different, and now the headphone adapter is in the bottom. If you're watching this video, you probably already know most of this because <coughs> it's been out for a while, and the iPhone 5 was really similar to this. So, yeah, the speakers there, the uh, new adapter, and the headphone jack on the top. The old one, you had the headphone jack and a mic port, and now you have, uh, on the new 5S, you just have the uh, on-off button for the screen. On here, go both. Looking at the back, well, the back, I think, looks the best on the 5S, like, it's awesome. And you just get your standard, what iPhone look like, and a little bit of screen protector lifting there. And your camera's situated as so. And the camera on this, it's similar setup, but now you have, uh, there's two different uh, lights here. I think one's like more of a flashlight and like LED, or and a flash or something. I'm not 100% sure. And anyway, so looking at the side, pretty much the same setup. Two buttons and your uh, silent and uh, uh, loudness, I guess, uh, switches. So you can switch from vibrate to uh normal audio mode so you can hear phone ring and stuff like that so yeah pretty cool and uh, definitely a lot lighter and when this wasn't dead I was looking at the both and you can get tell that the with the I guess the retina display type screen it is a lot clearer and crisper but I don't know it's not that big of a deal for me but I definitely like it so far it's a lot of fun it's pretty cool so I hope you enjoyed my simple unboxing guys and a little quick uh, physical comparison between the two and uh, yeah I uh, hope you enjoy it so uh, stay tuned and I'll uh, upload a video of uh, my review on these headphones I've only ever used the old iPhone headphones never used the new ones so I'll just give you my opinion on how they uh, how I think they sound and uh, I'll upload that for you guys so stay tuned thanks for watching